da 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 so these claws are officially older than probably some of you watching this it's like it's probably like 20 over 20 years old Good times. It's like an ancient relic now. That would totally destroy your knuckles. Anyways, so we're talking about Marvel's Wolverine. Will be M-rated, but sure. Semi-open world. Interesting. And may launch next fall. So, according to this article from comicbookmovie.com, they say that we are thought we we're going to have to wait until 2025 to get our claws on Insomniac's Wolverine video game. But a new report claims that the highly anticipated title could be with us a lot sooner. Uh, this was... I was actually informed by this by one of our one of our greatest people. I want to say it was Ricari. I could be wrong, um, but he reached out. I was like, "Hey, you should talk about this Wolverine, or maybe it was somebody else." You know who you are. Anyways, moving forward, uh, Logan fans have been climbing for a new video game featuring the iconic mutant for many years. And back in 2021, we got the news that Insomniac, the studio behind the acclaimed Spider-Man games, was in the process of developing Marvel's Wolverine. Aside from a brief announcement teaser and a few rumors, solid updates have been few and far between, but we finally have some exciting new details here, courtesy of Giant Bomb's Jeff Grubb. Okay, so he said, so Grubb basically said that he heard Mars Wolverine would hit shell soon as fall 2024, so we still got some time left to go, about a year and some change. Uh, but acknowledge there's a good chance, okay, it could be pushed back to 2025. Basically, what you don't want to have happen is anything alluding to, like, Cyberpunk or any other type of game that was not fully completed. So, Sonic was behind the, or is behind Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I've had numerous people tell me about. They're like, you gotta play Spider-Man 2, you gotta play Spider-Man 2, and I'm like, I've already got way too many video games stacked up, and honestly, I'm not that huge of a Spider-Man fan, so don't hold your breath. Uh, however, uh, when other games, such as Cyberpunk, Liberty comes out. I will definitely play that one. Anyways, so it is confirmed that it will have a hard M rating. Now, what that means is you'll probably slice and dice people to death. Uh, lots of gore, blood, and carnage. I doubt there will be any uh, female attributes on full display for everyone to enjoy. Yes, thanks, Kitty. Uh, and while it probably won't be op full open world, thank God, because we don't want a tragedy like Halo Infinite, uh, it will most likely have open sections of a world similar to other major Sony games. To give any examples, but the most recent God of War games spring to mind. Okay, fair enough. Now, I'm not a complete, like, anti-linear story, anti-linear uh, path person. I personally don't really care as long as the game is good. I enjoy it. There's a great storyline to it, and I enjoy playing it. Uh, I'm not one of these people that like has to be open world because I understand it takes an enormous amount of time to do full open world. Uh, scripted, linear stuff is just fine with me as long as it's done well and portrays a good story. Uh, also, as long as the gameplay is enjoyable. It doesn't have to be open world because, honestly, <sighs> open world could also mean lots of emptiness and boring, kind of like Night City. Um... Or like what are other games were there too? Uh, I think there was like other cowboy games that the open world games that were this. They were very very empty. Anyways, Night City Atomic is the biggest. Heart. Atomic Heart. Okay, Atomic Heart was quote unquote open world, uh, although it was very boring, dead, repetitive, and awful. So just because it's open world doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a fantastic game. So semi open world, that's fine because you can like go. If you have a semi-open world where you go from different area to different area, stage to stage, and you have lots of interactions with NPCs, lots of story, lots of different missions, and lots of things you can do within that smaller little sandbox, I'm cool with it. I don't need the boundless, empty, soulless planes of an open world game. Uh, also, the oceans of Fallout 4 come to mind. Those were extremely open world and extremely boring. I think the only ones that really pulled off open world the best was Skyrim. And there's a reason why that Skyrim's still like a good bestseller uh, over a decade later. Don't mind our cats. There's a huge storm going out right now, so they're a little stirred up. Okay, so in this one right here, I want to we can talk about this game a little bit. That's great. Let's talk about something a lot more cooler. So, Blade Terror Wolverine Claws found in massive stash of weapons, including machetes and knives. I always love these, like... These little terror, fear gripping, oh my god, oh! Or like when police come and arrest somebody or invade someone's home or, you know, do whatever. They, like, pull all these person's weapons out and lay them on display. I'm like, look what we found, a shotgun and a pistol, oh! It's like, get out of here. But this is cool. You've got brass knuckles 
and like literally like freaking machete claws on this thing. Like I don't know how really effective it would be. It's just something like a douchebag would run around and slash at people with, or like a freaking mall ninja think they're gonna go around and like go slash, 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 slash. Um, spine chilling machete swords. <laughs> spine chilling. They should see my giant sword. <laughs> And knives were also discovered in the raid of a Devon house. Yeah, I don't really much care for this this police crap, this government junk where they like, raid someone's house and like put all the weapons on display to try to scare everyone and try to turn everybody against them. But this is kind of cool that they found like a Wolverine claws type weapon. It did. It does look like it would be the most effective Wolverine because knuckles are more like around here and more grippy. This one would just like slice straight into your knuckles and just tear your whole hand apart. So, cool. Hope you all, oh, here, here we are. Here are the pictures of all these terrifying weapons. It just looks like a nerd who just wanted to go around and collect stuff. I'd be more interested in clicking on Yasmin Ukeulu stuns in a barely there bikini after quoting Toei. I don't know who Toei is. Uh, but if I click that, I'm going to get slapped. Anyways, outlaws, everyone else, have a great one. We'll see you next time.